Howdy, howdy, hard form. This is a uh, Tango Sill. Um, I'm just making this video to answer two quick questions. I'm going to do this as fast as possible. I'm going to assume that you know the very basics about stacks rips up to the point where you can manipulate settings pretty quickly with some measure of understanding. What I have here to test tonight is two videos. They're, they're, they're identical files. I copied one and just renamed them. We're going to do two tests. And that's so I can show you some of the functions that you were, you were asking about. Um, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you first when you put a file in the work in uh, the source file in stack strips drop it in there it's going to read it it's going to process and, and see what kind of uh, the, the, the you know things that the, what, the dimensions and whatever it's going to create a temporary directory directory right here in your um, source folder we don't want that in the case of the person that said they have a network share so what we're going to do is we're going to go in here options and let's let's start a fresh uh, stack strip that's not been populated with data. Okay, here we go. You can go on stack strips at the top. Whatever, make sure you have whatever template loaded that you want. That you probably saved the template already. Options. It's going to probably open an image. Go down the paths. Specify your temp file folder. In my case, I've already created one here on another drive, and we are going to delete that. Keep it fresh. I created a short. Let's let's do that again because uh, uh, I did mess it up a little bit here. Um, we'll use this right here. Okay, we have the temp folder set. So now when I drag and drop the temporary files, no longer go to the source directory. Notice that a new folder was not created. In fact, it was created here in this temp folder that I created a shortcut to on another drive. Well, we're not going to do that for me. I don't like that. You can use that for you. But if you want to leave that path set, make sure you go back to project um, and you save it as a template. That way it saves that path for you every time you open it. You're going to open a new stacks rip. And I did not save mine. And you notice that my CPU H265 template loaded because I have that set to startup options and it's blank. I like my working directory to also be where the source file is. So the first test, the first thing we've done, I answered the first question. The second question I wanted to answer was um, CPU utilization. So uh, under here, let's say that you have a template loaded and you go in options. Um, first off, let me explain. What I'm going to do is this first video, I'm going to convert an H.264 to H.265. I'm not going to change the resolution. I'm just going to change the codec. So drag that into your source. Okay, um, I'm using X265. Make sure you you may have that set if you want to convert 264 to 265. Maybe you want to cut the file size down significantly. For instance, this is a 527 meg file. I'm going to do that. Let's go to preset ultra fast because I want to get this done quick. Options. Um, I don't want to use two pass. Let's go with quality, and I'm going to go with a quality of 30.0. Um, everything else is fine for now. Um, and I'm not going to resize it. I'm only going to do a codec conversion. So let's do that. Everything else is cool. I'm cool with that. And then options. Let's go back down to options. Performance. You're probably going to see when you first come in. This may or may not be checked. I don't remember. But Wavefront Parallel Processing is the function in H.265 which lets it use multi-thread properly. And it will use the shit out of your CPU uh, depending on the workload, especially in 4K videos. Um, so just leave everything else default um, and just change wavefront parallel processing and I'll show you a little bonus to this window here in a minute and we're gonna hit we're gonna we're gonna turn this off and I'm gonna simulate handbrake so we got this video here everything's loaded let's hit next let's hit start all right it's processing let's hit control alt delete bring up the task manager um, show you the performance window so my cores are being used in anywhere between 40 and 80 give or take so it's kinda kinda using them kinda you know it's not really doing the best utilization you can see it's kinda all over the place okay that's all good and Dan and fine let's make some changes here options let's turn on wavefront now and let's hit OK and see if there's a difference
you should see a higher CPU utilization and you should see a bump in performance across the board so with wavefront parallel processing on it's able to use more of your cores more efficiently and effectively notice that I don't have the rise and peaks I just have sort of a consistent kind of plateau here um, and it seems to be going pretty well but that's not the end of it I can also do is let's let's really challenge this CPU and I'll show you one more function that's really cool about it about uh, stack strips and its ability to use the codec all the way let's close this let's delete this let's start a, a clean stack strip and let's do this again let's go in let's make sure all of our settings are where we want them wavefronts turned on but this time we're going to turn frame threads on 12 I have a 3900x I have 12 cores. I don't want to put my SMT threads in there. It's going to cause H.265 codec to crash. H.265 cares about physical cores. Put the physical cores in there. And let's turn parallel motion estima estimation on. I'll let you research what that does. I don't have time during the scope of this video to cover that. Um, and again, I don't want to do a bit rate thing. I want to do uh, quality. And let's go to 30. Okay, we got that loaded up. Everything's good. This is the 264 to 265. We'll commit this to the jobs list by hitting next, but we will not commit to starting the job yet. Now, let's do a test to downsize. We're going to take this one, just put it in here. It's going to read the data on the on the file. Again, let's change this over to quality. Let's go to 30 performance 12 frame threads turn these things on boom um, and we're gonna resize this let's resize it down here to some weird resolution that's not something we're gonna ever use but let's do that everything's good Hit next put it in the list now say you do 10 more videos you'll see 10 more entries in this list 10 more check boxes just hit start it's gonna start the job go to jobs it starts it's going to start the next job consecutively down the list it's loading it on my other monitor and I'll drag it over for you to see All right, we're running two jobs at the same time uh, 28 41 frames per second let's bring this up I'm getting high CPU utilization 93 percent 90 percent whatever no big deal 3900x can handle it I could do one two three four five six of these windows and get really good performance if I wanted to do like you know like mass quantities of videos at the same time 3900x is just such a powerful chip um, and I, I attribute most of that to that 70 megabytes of cache I mean it's just a lot of it's a lot it's a lot of level one memory going on here I mean, not level one but level three anyways that's uh, that's it in a nutshell um, let's let's just for the sake of it see what this video these the qualities turn out to be we don't need to look at that anymore this one's almost done and that bottom one's almost done whoops You'll see them pop up over here with the finished project. That one's done. Don't worry about the yellow. That's just drawing attention to the fact that something's changed. All right, and uh, let's see. This is the original 527, and now this one's only 41 megabytes. More H.265 is is such a good codec, and the quality is astonishing. Um, it's still the original resolution, but I mean 41 megs, and you're able to pack that kind of detail in. That's crazy. Um, let's close that and let's look at the test to downsize it was also 527 megabytes and <laughs> we downloaded we did we downsized it to that incredibly goofy resolution and we're at a 1.58 megabytes I mean it's just it's just really good I mean all, all that kind of detail in, a, in, a, in one and a half megabytes I mean it's crazy um, and that's it in a nutshell hopefully that helps thanks for tuning in